OMH we want to be watching. OMH also trying to get a little bit of a pop on up. Does have resistance as we know up near around that $25 mark and actually more towards around like $26. So OMH definitely one we want to be watching. If OMH keeps on spiking, that is a potential short. It does have a dollar spread, which makes it a very, very scary play because as fast as this one goes on up is as fast as this one could come on down. So OMH is a very scary play. You can make a lot of money on this play, but you also can lose a lot of money over on this play. OMH with a little bit of a pop. Still keep my eyes peeled over on OMH. If OMH wants to start making a little bit of run, I could definitely be interested in looking for a possible short entry. We start getting up towards around $26. I might look for some shorts. We got up to $26 and it's still not filled. OMH, I'm gonna do a little bit here. So I'm just gonna do 500 shares over on OMH. See if this one could be able to drop back on down and start getting a little bit weaker from here. So OMH, I like this opportunity to be able to get filled. I got filled right at $26, currently up 100 bucks. Let's see if that one could be able to pay out a little bit. So OMH traders, just like that, we're at $550. OMH, can, let's, let's see if this thing can fall down to $1,000. OMH, guys, nice turnaround right back on down. We have a large spread, though, at this moment. Large spread. That thing just went from being up $1,000, now only being up $250. So this is a play. It just came crashing on down very quickly. We're up $610 at this moment over on OMH. And OMH, it's only 500 shares. This is not a massive order at this moment. It's a little bit of a scary trade, but at the same time, this is a play that I just don't think is going to be able to hold up very well. I think there would be a lot of opportunity that this play could be able to continue to fall and drop. Right now we're up $815. Here's $1,500, guys. Here's $1,500, $1,300 right here. $1,300 in profit at this moment. I'm just gonna start off my day right here. Boom! Woo! Guys, $1,200 in profit over on OMH, baby. I like it. Argyl Deck, when are you getting married? <laughs> Why don't you mind your own damn business, Argyl? All right, I'm kind of tired of your shit today. All right, when am I getting married? When are you getting married? EFSH, look at it, it's spiking back on up towards 130, just like it did last time. And here it goes on a nice little rip and run. Here comes EFSH, now holds it on the upside again. So guys, this is the same exact thing that happened last time. We basically had a dump and then it spiked on up, got halted. And now we just had a dump and it just had a spike on up. And now it looks like it's getting halted and now it's halted, guys. So it's basically trick traders twice. It's trick traders twice so far. Hey guys, we're gonna dump on down. Just kidding, we're spiking on the upside. Okay guys, we're dumping on down. Just kidding, we're spiking on the upside. It so EFSH has now tricked probably shorters twice in the fact that saying, okay, hey, this is going to you know, dump on down. EFSH, I want to look for a short up near around the price of 150, you know, 160. That's that's kind of like my idea. I want to look for some shorting opportunities up near those highs. So that's where I'm at. That's kind of my focus over on these plays. See if I can get filled over on EFSH and then get a nice drop back on down. EFSH is going to be opening up at the time of 1014 and 11 seconds. But I'm gonna have an order on EFSH a little bit closer, which I think could easily get filled here very soon in the 150s. Guys, we're gonna be opening on up in about five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, EFSH. We are live, not in yet though, not in yet. I wanna get filled and then I wanna see a pullback. I wanna get filled and see a pullback. Remember 150s, 160s is what I want to get filled. I wanna get in then get a pullback. I want 150s, 160s to get filled. Guys, EFSH just got my first one filled. EFSH just got my first entry filled on that one. And I got in EFSH at the price of 154. 154, first entry getting filled. Now second entry getting filled right here. Okay, EFSH just got filled on 4,000 shares on this play. 4,000 shares in on this play at this moment. I am in on that stock, which I am happy about because I do think that one's gonna start turning here pretty soon. EFSH is actually still live at this moment. It's probably gonna go on up and get halted again. Now, how high can EFSH go on up towards? Holt area is up towards the price of 169. A nice little move so far, and we're still going a little bit. EFSH, I still like this play. I'm in on this play, as you guys know, at the cost basis of 156. I'm still looking for the reversal and the hold on the downside to be able to make, you know, $500 or so. And if EFSH can actually get holted on the downside, we should get paid. Right now we're up 220 bucks. Now we're getting holted on the downside over on EFSH. EFSH at this moment, the last few times it's dumped, it has popped itself right back on up. So I need to be careful. I'm up 460 bucks and ladies and gentlemen i'm just going to be a little baby and lock in 2,000 shares just because again i'm you know a, a, a scaredy cat so we just locked in 2,000 shares but we're off 500 right now we're at 500 at this moment over on efsh i still have 2,000 shares left we are not technically halted just yet and i'm actually just going to lock out the last 500 shares right here and now we just got halted guys boom 
All right, baby. Boom, baby. Boom, baby. Guys, we just got out of this play over on EFSH. $500 in profit. Let's go. Let's go. We're currently up $1,700 on the day. I'm like that type of guy that, you know, when I get an animal, I kind of live out in the middle of the country. I let him go. And if he wants to come back, you know, then I know he really loves me. Um, and I let him go like, I, like, I want to say like three months ago. I haven't seen him since. Uh, but other than that, I think he's going to be coming back soon. So, SMFL is getting a nice little pop on up. Closer this one gets towards a $5, the better the short would be. 444 is where SMFL could spike up towards. SMFL does have shares available to start shorting this play, which is nice. Getting a little bit of a pop right here. I'm actually going to start a position at this moment in case SMFL does start turning. So I am just jumping in right now with about a thousand shares in case things start turning. We did get up towards 435 so far. We have basically just gone on a nice little straight up move at this moment. I'm just adding some shares as we pop on up here because at any moment we could still see a very nice pullback, a very nice drop. 435, nice again, strong resistance area so far. How high can we get up towards? All the way up towards around $5 would be the ultimate target. I am just you know starting a little bit of a position in case we start falling back underneath $4. If we start falling back underneath $4, then I can lock in 400 bucks I, you know i would definitely look to do that we've been seeing a lot of stocks have pullbacks a lot of stocks have been collapsing a little bit early such as xcla such as mots such as, you know, ePow. A lot of these plays have been collapsing a little bit earlier than I think. I have been missing a couple shorts just from not getting in, you know, early enough. And that's why I'm kind of, you know, jumping the gun a little bit here just because I'm kind of trying to adjust to what I'm seeing in this market. Right now I'm down 200 bucks at this moment. We need to start seeing this, you know, fall underneath that 425-ish mark. If it keeps holding its gains, we are going to keep on spiking here. We have a lot of upper shadow, upper shadow, upper shadow, upper shadow. Are we going to have that upper shadow and that strong reversal? That's, you know, the main question here. Are we going to have that upper shadow and that strong reversal? We are starting to see this little bit of a turn on a down right here. I'm actually going to add some more shares on this to see if it is going to dump. Underneath $4, I want to be able to take my profits. And let's see if this is going to be able to turn. Let's see if this is going to be able to reverse. Let's see if this is going to be able to start getting weaker here. I do have a cost base of 421 at this moment. Just watching this for that 420 dump. And if we can crack 420, I want to see this just right underneath $4. I'm going to add a few more shares here. I got 4,000 shares on the short side. Let's see if this thing can turn and crack. I'm currently down $318. I'm going to add my last 1,000 shares here. Stop loss is above 438. If I see the stock go above 438, I'm 100% out. I will end up taking a small loss, but you know what? I'm not going to allow this stock to spike on me. Let's see if we can get the dump that I want now. So let's see if we can crack 420 here. Notice how we're turning on down. Notice how it's arcing on the downside. Crack of 420, we should crack on down to 399. Should pay out, you know, some good cash. But notice 420 on the bids, still holding 419. Come on, 419 starting to crack. We got 420, 420 still just fighting to stay alive. So we still got our 420 still fighting to stay alive. I love how it's arcing on down, baby. Oh, 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 baby. Oh, baby. Okay, guys, I'm just going to, you know, start off smart right here. Let's take a little bit of our gains as we come back on down. Let's see if it cracks all the way back on down. We got a $4 nice little drop on down here. Let's see. Can we crack $4? We're up $264 at this moment. It's still trying to stay alive here, but notice that arc. This is not the biggest trade in the world, but it's just a fun trade, I think. This is not the, you know, biggest trade, but I think it's a predictable trade. The most important thing is that we stay under underneath that 410 mark if we keep going above 410 take your profits even if it's little because you don't want to get caught on this play if it bounces back on up so the bids underneath 410 is all you care about as long as bids are underneath 410 you're going to be a happy camper you're going to be sitting absolutely fine now we're going to get a nice little drop we're up 439 dollars can we crack underneath again that four dollar mark four dollars trying to hold up as a little bit of support right now we're starting to move up here slightly let's see if we get that four dollar crack and start dumping on down four dollars trying to hold guys can we crack four dollars four dollars trying to hold four dollars about to go here we got a lot of orders four dollars give it a last little second here and four dollars everyone wave goodbye goodbye four dollars and i'm gonna lock in my profits 366 bucks all right guys 366 dollars i'm out of this play and i am good so it smells absolutely delicious in here as well i don't know what's going on it, it smells like maple syrup bacon in, in here at this moment i think it's enrique 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 Bring me a piece of bacon. Talk like a bacon on Thank you. Hey, Enrique. Buenos dias. 
Look at it. I told you. I, I wasn't. I, I have a great sense of smell. Thank you. Chupapi Mignano. Okay. Not bad. Back on down towards 415.70, underneath 415.75 would be probably the best dip buying opportunities at this moment. We got a little bit of an upper shadow right up towards around 416. If you get a pullback back underneath that 415.75 mark, that could be a nice little solid trade. Back underneath 415.75, try to catch one of these lower shadows and try to get filled on this play. Definitely could be able to make a quick little dollar. There you go, gonna uh, get filled. Gonna get filled right here. I'm going on the call side, as you guys know. Got a hundred contracts on the call side. I can add if it gets a little bit of a drop back on down at all towards like 415.60s or so. Right now we're up 150 bucks at this moment. Let's just see if we can get that little dip buy and bounce play off of just, you know, that old previous area. If we can be able to make, you know, $500, guys, we're up 450 bucks. We're up $450 right here. $450 in profit. Let's see, can we move on up a little bit higher? And we could, you know, just start by taking smaller gains, taking nice profits. You know, that's what it's all about sometimes. Here we go, guys, we're up $650. Let's lock it in, guys. Boom, oh man, all right, $400. Quick little $400 in profit, just kind of starting things on off. Let's see, are we gonna hit this downtrend and then start cracking through it? Let's see, it's trying to break through it already. It's trying to break through it already. We got a little bit of this downtrend already trying. Buyers are clearly in control. Buyers at this moment are clearly in control. Here comes again, 416. Buyers are still trying to take on over. Guys, S&P 500 just broke through this downtrend already, showing a lot of strength, a lot of momentum, and a lot of action. Back on down towards around the price of 415.80. Look for a dip buy. 415.80 would be our dip buy at this moment if you guys are interested on this play. And I would just do another quick little entry if we can get a nice little area. We are getting our next leg on up at this time, it looks like. So we are still going on up. S&P 500 is trying to squeeze on up towards again that 417 mark. This might be one of the biggest green candles of the day here. We got a nice little pullback on down. We might want to be able to try to take advantage of this if we can here, traders. Let's see. Can we go back on down towards the low 416s? Getting a little bit of a pullback back on down here. We should be able to get some nice little bounce plays, even if we just want to do quick little profits. Should be very, very solid. Let's see, 416, 4602, 416, 4602, 4601, 416 at this moment. Can we go back on down towards a little bit lower? 41601 at this time. Guys, I'm gonna do an entry. I'm back in with 100 contracts right here, looking for it to see if they're gonna get a dip buy. I'm back in with 100 contracts at this moment, still sitting even with 350 bucks. Here's a little bit of a pullback. If we do pull on back, how low are we going to go on down towards? I think again, 415.90. Yeah, just had a spike on up to 416.24. Here comes a little bit of a dump. Little bit of a pullback. Now I'm down 350. There's a nice little spike back on up. There's a nice little spike back on up. I was gonna say that was a little interesting. Right now we're up $750. Let's see if we can keep on going here with this train. Guys, here we go, $1,200. Let's go, baby. Let's go, baby. Let's hit these highs. Let's go, we're up $1,200, $1,100. We got 416.25. I think we are gonna break this, to be honest. I think we're gonna break 416.25 if we can get it. Right now we're sitting right around that high. I wanna see, I'm currently up $1,000 on the day. I'm gonna be smart and just lock it in. Guys, all right, I'm just gonna lock it in. $900 so far in profit. All right, I'm just gonna take my profits when I have them. $900, we're getting a little bit of a pullback. Nice job, nice work, not too shabby. S&P 500 starting to turn a little bit back on down. We've hit 450, we've hit 450. I might be looking for one here. We do not get back above 450. We might be still looking for that put contract, just 100 contracts. Wouldn't be going too big. If we start going underneath that 417.40 mark, we're gonna be watching for it. We go back underneath 417.40. I'm watching for that possible dump back on down towards 417.25, back on down towards the blue line. Let's see, we might get one here. Might get one here. 417.39, we are getting it? Come on, we might get one here. S&P 500 starting to fall a little bit. S&P 500 is starting to get a little bit of a drop. I'm gonna do just a hundred. I'm gonna do a hundred contracts on the short side here. See if we're gonna crack on down. I'm gonna do a hundred contracts on the short side. See if we're gonna crack on down to 417.25. I'm gonna, you guys, we're doing well. We're up 350, up $350. Guys, we're doing well, we're up $400. Up, uh, guys, we're up $550. We're up $550 right now. Nice little dump, take your profits right now. It's $600, $700. Woo, guys, $700 in profit off that dump. There's a nice one right here. Currently up $1,800 on the day. Guys, here comes a little bit more of the dump. Here comes the sell-off here. We might get that nice little crack back on down. I might jump back in on this if we come back up to 42019 or so. We might get a nice little sell-off back on down on this play. Guys, we are getting a nice little dump here. I'm jumping back on in. I'm gonna jump back in on this play. I'm jumping back in on this play to see if this one goes all the way down to 420 plus. 
So at this moment, you can see I'm up $188. Let's see if we go all the way on down underneath 420. Now we're up 300, 488, 488 dollars, guys. I'm sorry, I had to jump back on in. I can't miss opportunities like this. 600, 988 dollars, 1,000 dollars, locking it out, guys. Boom, baby! Woo! 10 o'clock, 10 o'clock trend line, baby. 10 o'clock trend line dump. You guys want a show? You guys want the unlimited ATM? Welcome to the stock market.